Honourable Member for Lac St. Anne Parkland. Yes, thank you, Madam Speaker. And uh, it's a pleasure to rise up this morning and, and talk about this bill. And the member from uh, Carson Sitsika had, had articulated quite well that there's a, a difference between um, our side and, and the former government side. But I couldn't help uh, think of some words of wisdom. And if you can allow me to indulge, as there's been a wide breadth given uh, all this morning from the member of uh, West Hende. Now, some of the, the members may be well more read than I am, but I just, I just couldn't help thinking of a couple phraseologies that I've heard before. So first, there was this uh, gentleman by the name of uh, Mike Myers, and some may have heard him in an Austin Powers character. And I'm, I'm trying to understand where these folks are coming from, and for some reason, I keep hearing in the back of my mind, I, can't, I don't speak freaky-deaky socialist. That's all I was thinking of, because the lens that, that we're looking at when you actually have business development taking place and you're setting up offices over the world and you're spending money to attract business, that is one of the pillars of every single foundation, every corporation I've ever been involved with. You have folks called business development, business development engineering. You actually have to go out and attract business. You do have competition, and you do have to promote your different pillars of, of your economy within that corporation. So to say that appointing someone to go to our largest customer, who is actually Texas, our largest trading partner is the U.S., and Texas is it. Why we would not send somebody there to go stir up business? The other person that came to mind, well, not a person, but a character, you know, in the days before Yosemite Sam and Elmer Fudd had to give up their firearms, it was uh, Foghorn Leghorn. And, you know, in this, this one came to mind, it was this boy's more mixed up than a feather in a whirlwind. So, again, understanding that perspective of where they're coming from versus how the rest of the world actually operates, when we're talking about artificial intelligence, what we're looking for is applied applications. And I can tell you full well, the Minister, Associate Minister of Natural Gas and, and Electricity, he and I had a chance to see an Alberta company that was very innovative under that aerospace industry, developing and, and utilizing artificial intelligence with a practical application. And again, they're producing drones that are autonomous, that are made in Alberta, all the ingenuity, that they're four years ahead of what Boeing is doing right now down in, in uh, the United States, trying to come up with this autonomous vehicles. So these are the type of innovations that need to be fostered. And thank goodness for the Minister of Economic Trade and Tourism Development to understand that it's not just sitting from the sidelines, picking a couple winners and losers, hailing the socialist mantra of everyone's equally poor and driving industry down. The same members opposite will gleefully uh, cheer and, and jump up and down when we have impediments and blockages like we have in Keystone XL right now. They actually revel at the fact that we've had to invest in a major industry, that they've poisoned investment for so many years and driven it away that now even when we start having to expose ourselves and actually show how much we actually care about that industry to keep it driving forward, to make sure there still remains investor confidence, that they're jumping up and down with their buddy Bill McGowan saying this is a great thing to delay it. Talk about shooting yourself in the, in the foot. Oh, I'm sorry, Gil McGowan. I'm not as quite associated as you folks are with him. I just hear the news things. Now, the other one that came out was, uh, <laughs> we're talking about agriculture. And I'll tell you what, we have a great agriculture industry. When I came up with a motion 501 uh, in the first sitting of the session, we had a division on that. The folks opposite couldn't get their concept around actually having trade and transportation utility corridors. You know, some of the biggest impediments that I've heard in the petrochemical industry is actually access to market, and that comes down to logistics. We can't get our stuff to market, so we're hamstrung with the oil because everyone apparently is anti-pipeline, though they have no relevance or understanding of what it is. Member from Siksika gets it. Our, our folks get it. That's why it was one of those, those elements. We have such an atrocity taking place that we're laughing stock. We're talking about laughing stock. How about the fact you have to send a small little skimmer, a little boat out of Vancouver that goes all the way around the continent to get it to the East Coast? You want to talk laughing stock? That's what this ideology has driven us into. We have to get behind our industries, we have to grow this. We need the, the economic trade and tourism development to do it. We need those departments to be put in place and we need to actually foster growth. Applied applications, applied technologies, not something to sit there. We're talking BioWare, I heard the member from Henday talk about them. I'm a big fan of BioWare, fantastic news story. EA Sports bought them out, they're doing really well. Those folks who reached out to the Capital Region Caucus, we're definitely going to be meeting with them. And again, what I'm finding that's happening that we as MLAs that actually engage with the business community, you start knitting these different groups together. So let's take Pegasus for an example. Let's take the Villeneuve Landing Network on the aerospace. These are the folks that we start gluing together and you look at what synergies can actually happen and when you actually fully support your industries. Not the platitudes. Not hiring companies from Ontario to change light bulbs and shop or 
shower faucets and everything else. So if the members opposite want to stand point, I would really love for them to support this and I can stop thinking about looning.